going on? This is Heat and Succeed. Let me mute this music. Now, this is a review of the, this is a quick review of the Everlast dual, dual bag stand, dual station stand. Now, if you're going to buy this, do not buy this from Amazon.com. Uh, I'll give you, I'll give you the best deal right now. And I'm not getting paid by anybody. This is just me letting you know what's the best deal. If you go to Amazon.com, you will be paying upwards of $130 for the station alone. That means not including the heavy bag and not including the speed bag. Or any of the boxing equipment like the gloves or the hand wraps, etc. Um, so, the heavy bag stand. It's a great stand. I thought it was not going to be as good as it is. Uh, but I've barely had it for about, I don't know, a couple months and you know it has taken no wear and tear it's a it's very sturdy and uh, I'm actually on a second story right now I'm on a second story I'll, I'll show you right here as you can see outside I'm elevated I'm above I'm in a second story so I'm, I'm having this on a second story so like I said that could be very loud for downstairs but because this is so well made I feel like it's not that loud so you know hit the heavy bag ah, ah. Hit the speed bag. Actually, you cannot hit the speed bag on this side because there's no support on the top. You have to hit the speed bag where the where the beam is, or else you will not get any. Uh, it will suck. You have to hit it right here. Yeah. But yeah, I think I might have too much punching power because. I'm very loud when I hit it. I can I can just beast on this thing, dude. Like it's insane. But anyways, back to the heavy bag stand. If you go to Walmart.com, you will only pay $99, $100 for this heavy bag stand with, and that will include free shipping. Now the only other cost is uh, taxes. So depending on where you live, you got to calculate that. But for me, it was only what eight bucks. I live in California, so it wasn't that much. Now the heavy bag. I've had this heavy bag for the longest time okay I had this heavy bag for about two years three years and what I used to have to do is I used to have to I didn't have anywhere to stand it um, so I used to have to get it get a dolly drag it out drag it downstairs and then take it to a park or something and that's just totally uh, inefficient and whatever but with the heavy bag stand I could just be chilling in my room you know you got some rage you just throw some jabs Throw some overhand rights, throw some left hooks. I was actually studying uh, Trinidad Vargas and the first round where Trinidad slipped the jab from Vargas and came back with a huge left hook where he got that leverage. He bent down to his left so that he got all this leverage into his left hook and I was practicing that left hook and I wasn't even trying and that I just moved the whole I, I moved the whole stand. The whole stand went up just from that left hook. I was like, damn, that's some Trinidad. If you ever want to learn punching technique where you get power, watch Trinidad. Anyways, that's besides the point. So you go to Walmart.com, you pick this up for $99. I was looking at this heavy bag stand, I was looking at other heavy bag stands. Um, this heavy bag stand is actually uh, very good. I was surprised, like, you get your money's worth. The only beef I have with this heavy bag stand is, you can see those uh, those paddings, whatever, those those pad rods, pegs, pad pot pegs. Uh, there's, there's supposed to be one right here. It's for weights. You put weights there to hold it down. Well, unfortunately, um, that was broken. It does not fit in there. Uh, it's just like the, it's just the way they welded it. It was imperfect. It was an imperfection. But honestly, that's not even a big deal because I don't even use weights on it. So, bottom line, this is a good heavy bag stand. Pick it up. Uh, the only thing I did buy from Amazon was this heavy bag, which is the medium one. This is not the big one. I like the medium one because it takes more uh, precision. And the big one is just, uh, it's just, I mean, it's, if you're a beginner, get the big one. If you have some speed bag experience, which which I do, get the small one. Get the medium one, actually, this is the medium. And this was cheap. This was only like 20-something dollars. Or I don't know how much, yeah, it was not that much. It's the Everlast brand. Everything's Everlast. I'm not sponsored by Everlast. I just, they, they make the most, they, they got the best deal on the equipment. Same with the, the hitting gloves. 16 ounce hitting gloves um, yeah so by the way 
If you want to get these, I only paid seventeen dollars for these gloves. If you walk into the store right now, Big Five, these gloves are going to cost you about forty dollars, thirty nine ninety nine. Don't buy them at Big Five. Go to Amazon.com. That's where I got them for seventeen dollars. I got these for seventeen dollars, and I got I got these ones for sixteen dollars. These are sixteen ounce. Pro style training gloves, 16 ounce. So yeah, you get to take out all your aggression at a budget. None of this stuff has to be expensive. Don't pay top dollar, you know. Uh, like I said, save your money. But yeah, this heavy bag stand, it's quality. If I had a uh, garage or a, a backyard, I would definitely put this in here, in there. But uh, unfortunately, I don't. So this does the job. I must say, the only, the only downside I could really say is. Uh, this doesn't get any higher so this is at a fixed height so you cannot raise it now the issue with that is this is the only issue this is the only con that I'm gonna end this video if you want my uncle taught me my uncle told me if you hit the bottom of the heavy bag it strengthens your knuckles now why is that well that's because the bottom is the hardest so when you hit it it's gonna strengthen it's gonna make your knuckles harder stronger now, the way this is positioned, I don't know if you can see, but I'm kneeling down to hit the bottom part. In an ideal situation, I would raise the bottom part to where it's at uh, chest level or to my abdomen so that I can hit it without dropping down. So without dropping down, this is the part that I'm hitting. This is the part where I'm hitting. This is like where my the head is. This is, okay, and then to, to get this ideal to get this height where it is, I had to put no chains. I just had to connect it straight to the, straight to the, um, the hook, just so that it would. This is as high as it can go. That's the only. If you're, I'm, I'm about five eleven, six foot. So, for me, it's not ideal, but I can still train with it. I mean, it's still a heavy bag that I could hit. Um, but if you are, I don't know, five eleven, five ten, five nine, five eight. If you're like around there, you're good, man. You're good with this. Uh, so that's going to wrap this up. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember, walmart.com. You, If you go to walmart.com, uh, you will, the website, you'll actually get this for $99, free shipping. They shipped it fast. Um, and they, it, uh, no complaints. So, yeah. And with that, I'm out. Oh, no, this is Heat and Succeed. Let me mute this music. Now, this is a review of the... This is a quick review of the... Everlast dual dual bag stand, dual station stand. Now, if you're gonna buy this, do not buy this from Amazon.com. Uh, I'll give you the, I'll give you the best deal right now, and I'm not getting paid by anybody. This is just me letting you know what's the best deal. If you go to Amazon.com, you will be paying upwards of $130 for the station alone. That means not including the heavy bag and not including the speed bag. Or any of the boxing equipment like the gloves or the hand wraps, etc. 